Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our RimWorld Warhammer 40k Let's Play. So, a lot has happened between episodes, although not a whole lot of time has passed. So, the caravan has reformed and is on its way back home. I've got as much ceramite and components as we could possibly mine out in a short amount of time, as well as all of the Tau gear that they dropped. Um, I think I grabbed all the corpses as well. We'll see if they make it home before they spoil. Hopefully we can get them into a freezer and maybe use them for some kibble. Uh, but otherwise, we did what we could. We got the uh, the orbital targeter thing that we obviously went there for. And so we're headed back. However, we did just receive word of an incapacitated refugee. Uh, about a day away to the south of our base and he's only got four days before he dies we might go ahead and try to rescue him but we do need to keep in mind that this prisoner camp only has five days left so we're gonna need to be very very fast here it's gonna take us a little under a day or about a day to get home that gives us three to get to here and uh, at that point like four to go well, it would be three at that point, so three days to go here and then back out. So our away team is going to have no time to rest. They're going to stop in, dump their loot, head out, rescue that person, head back, deliver whatever they've got, and then head on back out to here and deal with this prisoner camp. So they are going to be very busy. Now then, we've got some new recruits. Uh, the spacer that fell onto our planet has joined us after healing up or mostly healing up anyways she's still bedridden but she is not incapable of walking anymore and so as soon as she stood she offered to join we of course accepted and then because her priority for bed rest was changed to higher she went right back to bed i've gone ahead and renamed her with a name submitted in the comments so she is now sylvia and i've set her work priority to uh, essentially doctoring and when she's not doctoring, either helping with planting or uh, cleaning and hauling. Uh, also, uh, that's the other character, so we'll get to him in a second. The other one is Clayton. So Murgo recruited Clayton in our prison. Clayton is an interesting character, but one that I think will help us out. I don't know where he currently is. Let's track him down. Where did you go? So he's now named Jackal. Again, name in the comments or name submitted in the comments and he is a decent shot not terrible in melee either is a good miner and a good researcher but he also has some passion for social so what I've decided to do with him is set him really high on wardening I should probably take wardening down actually uh, I'll leave it like three or something but essentially what I want him do is want him doing is watching prisoners and mining so he'll be standing in the mine watching people or mining himself and that I think is the most effective way to use him and then obviously we'll outfit him like a soldier so that when you know we get raided he'll be able to jump in and help with his six shooting skill so uh, that's where he's going to contribute and then finally uh, speedy has been renamed Haro again thanks to submissions in the comments and we've already taken care of his priorities in an earlier episode Although we need to get rid of this M16 that he's using and give him a, a real 40k weapon. So, that's what's been going on. Let's get the clock moving here. And hopefully, we can make all this stuff on the world map work. We have been just absolute busybodies and it's going to continue that way for a while. It's funny because in our other playthroughs, there's not a whole lot of traveling happening. But in this one, we just never seem to stop. I think a lot of that has to do with the vehicle. Uh, the vehicle definitely changed the game for us because it made it possible for us to not only reliably and quickly get to various destinations, but also uh, to carry a good bit of loot back with us effectively because we can carry like 400 pounds or something. Or actually, I think it's, it's kilograms because everything in this game is metric. Unless you change it, but uh, I left it metric. So yeah, it would be kilograms. And so that's quite a lot of stuff that we could bring back with us without having to like literally throw it on our backs. And so uh, it just kind of works out. Um, I'm a bit concerned that the weapon that was there is no longer there. 
And now I'm wondering where it might have ended up. Huh. That worries me a bit. I don't remember what it was. At least the rocket launcher is still there. That's good, but I remember there being another like heavy weapon next to it. And now I'm going to need to go back and <laughs> check out the last video and see what was sitting there. But the lightning claws have been put in their place, or its place, and these are a pretty damn good weapon. I might reserve these for somebody that gets turned into a space marine, though. I feel like they would be a bit wasted on one of our, like, you know, regular human characters. But we'll see. Maybe not. Maybe they'll go to one of our commissars or something. Uh, anyways, let's keep things moving. We want to get them back as soon as possible. They're literally just going to drive into the base and dump everything they have on the floor right here and then head right back out. I'm not even going to unload them from the APC. Uh, although they might bail on their own, in which case I'll have to reload them back in, but I'm not going to take them out. I'm just going to get rid of the loot and then send them right back on their way because we are on the clock here. God, we have so much steel that hasn't made it back to base yet. I think there's still some from... Yeah, well, a little bit down here. This is where the... Oh, there's actually still silver down there, too. Uh, where the Necron... Was it Monolith? I think the Necron Monolith spawned in. Oh, we got puppies down here. What are you doing, man? Kind of weird, watching dogs give birth. Anyway. Let's see here. I wish this would hurry up. Oh, it's going to expand like any second. But yeah, this part of the base is coming along. I should actually start building these. We'll fill those in. Uh, I got to be careful though because until this hallway is mined out, I'm actually going to block access to these rooms if I if I do that. So I'll probably leave this end down here open. At least for the time being. That way I don't need to worry about... Uh, them not being able to access this other stuff. That needs to be walled off too, but I can do that later. We still need to mine this whole hallway out, and then basically this entire chunk, really. Uh, but we'll need to add walls as we go, because we could risk a cave-in in here, maybe in the center. Otherwise, it'd probably be fine, though, because there are still walls around here. And checking on our doors, make sure people aren't clogging the freezer. Looks fine. Temperature's doing all right. Clinton's mining this out for us. We need to get all that out and then we can connect those hallways. And the temperature in the base is actually holding pretty well. I'm hoping that this helps. It, it could make it worse because we are adding a, a pretty significant area to the base, but we're adding effectively double the coolers, whereas we're not adding double the the area. If anything, it's about... Uh, it's a little less than half of our current area. So, in theory, we're adding more cooling than we are area. At least in proportion, so hopefully this ends up helping us. And it makes the base colder faster. But we'll see. We will most certainly see. How are you guys doing? Oh, they're almost home. Great. I mean, it was only like, what, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 days back, so obviously it was going to be fairly quick. But uh, we are still very much in a hurry. And hopefully when they deliver the Ceramite, we'll be able to start making another uh, uniform. Although I got to keep an eye out because I think they're refining a lot of the Ceramite. No, I've suspended all of this. Or, not necessarily suspended, but I think it's paused. Ooh, textiles. Textiles trader. Trade ship. Okay. Uh, let's see. Who is available to do this? I think Yaris is going to be the one. Yaris is actually not too far off either. He's actually chatting up our guests right now. I need you to call them. And, oh. 
Where did the caravan come back? It didn't give me any information or notice, but I know from experience that when they disappear from up here, that means that they are in the APC somewhere on the map. The question is where? Ah, there they are. They're hiding. Draft that and come over here and just unload everything. And okay, there's Yaris. Right. What can we buy from them? I have 75 cloth and 75 devil strand. At least that's what is accessible from my orbital trade beacon. This cougar skin is not very useful at 32, so I will sell that. It's not going to net me much, but there's no point in keeping it around because we can't craft anything with 32 of something. Uh, let's see. I think I'd like to keep the Synthread pants for our prisoners. I will sell these stupid jumpsuits, though. That one's actually worth quite a bit. Maybe we should manufacture and sell those. And I definitely don't need this many great coats, so I'll sell the Devil Strand one. I'm going to keep the other two. Ooh. Oh, too bad it's Chaos. Oh, an Imperial Rosarius. That is so expensive. So that's going to give me 229 silver. I wish they were a weapons merchant, but that can't really be helped. Uh, and I have no silver to trade with because there's no silver in my trade beacon. So what do I want in return? I don't know. I might just take the silver, because to be honest, I don't know that I need any cloth materials. Huh. I feel like I might need cloth, though. But I don't know... I know in my Star Wars playthrough I need it desperately. I'm trying to remember if I need it in this one. And we might. But I know we have a ton of Devil Strands somewhere, because we grew like a... a metric ass load of it uh, but I don't remember how we're doing on cloth because cloth we're growing in the hydroponics basins and that's a little bit more limited on space so if I wanted to for a fairly decent price well no don't do that um, it's gonna be like 200 or something uh, maybe a little less maybe like 180 it's still off uh, 175 might do it damn so close there we go. So I get 172 cloth for some stuff I have lying around I don't plan on using. I think I will go ahead and do that just in case. Because I can always turn the cloth into something and sell that or use it or something. Whereas like, you know, some of these random guard Imperial Guard great coats or the Commissar great coats I can't really do much with, especially like the Devil Strand one, it's really really bad. These jumpsuits are worthless. Um, keeping these for prisoners, so they're not entirely useless. But yeah, we'll just do that. And let's slow things down as we wait for the APC to arrive at its destination. Oh god, it's got to go all the way around. i got to be careful, though. As soon as that thing stops moving, I wager they're going to bail out. And we do not want that. I have to undraft it to set up a caravan, though. Okay gear. Uh, we're going to keep the medicine. Going to need to probably pick up more pemmican. Unless those are enough, we'll see. It's a fairly short trip, so we may not need to add more food. But unload all the adamantium, the components, all of the tau weapons, and the orbital power beam targeter. Uh, unload all that wood. And those corpses, hopefully they have not started to rot. Ceramite, more tau stuff, and a bit of silver. Okay. Spoils in less than a day. Well, we need to make some room in the freezer, don't we? Let's get that hauled out of the way. I need to actually extend this. Like so. And then, what I'll do is I will expand this stockpile a little bit. This is only temporary, but we kind of need it right now. And I'm going to say that I do not want any more rice in here. No more corn, no more rice. 
corn and rice can go here. Perfect. That should make some room for these guys. Hopefully they're quick about this. Otherwise, uh, these guys are just going to spoil and get, get completely wasted. I do need to make sure, however, that we are not turning Tau into... Yeah, not turning Tau into simple meals. And I wish I could click the details from there, but I can't. Not turning Tau into pemmican, right? Okay. So only kibble, correct? Only kibble. Let's see. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is selected. Yeah. Why that's suspended, I don't know. I'm gonna unsuspend it. Butcher creature will probably need to get unsuspended as well. I am a bit concerned though because they'll probably cut these up for more meat and that's just gonna make an absolute mess in here. As if it isn't already one. Uh, why aren't we turning the Eldar into kibble? I guess probably because I had it suspended. So, as long as we're not turning the Eldar into any other type of meat, should be okay. We're not using Eldar for... Oh, we are using Eldar for pemmican. Uh, let's not do that. As tasty as those space elves are, we're not going to make any more pemmican out of them. And we're only using elk meat or vegetarian stuff for the simple meals. No point wasting uh, meat on simple meals. So that works. The Eldar will be used to make kibble. Hopefully we'll use up that Eldar flesh and make some space in there. And then once that's done, we'll go ahead and allow them to butcher creatures again. But we only need eight slots to just throw those guys in. Once we get them in the freezer, they'll last forever. We just need to make that happen. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, you undraft and then we will go to the world map we are going to form another caravan with the APC and only the APC uh, I'll have to see how much food they have it says zero days worth of food but they already have some food it's just hard to say how much exactly uh, why don't you take like that's a full day's worth of food. I think that'll be enough. Because they already have a little less than 10 with them, plus however much pemmican they still have. So that'll be... It's got to be minimum two, maybe three days worth of food. So I think that'll be okay. We still have the five medicine. We didn't waste any. So we need to leave due south. Uh, they have more food than that. I'm not worried about it. And honestly, it should be like a just a trip there and back, assuming there's not like a giant battle there. So, in theory, they shouldn't need more than just the two days worth of food. Okay, go yeah, go grab the survival meals, and be on your way. Oh, they're unloading the food. That's a problem. Okay. Got it cancel that let's reform this real quick I didn't realize that they would unload things in their inventory if I didn't tell them to bring it with them so bring all of that bring 10 of these I really I thought that would be more uh, bring some of this then 2.3 let's make that 200 just to be safe and then we need to get the chem fuel. We want 200 of that. Uh, the problem there is they haven't unloaded it yet. So we'll bring 150 and we're just basically gonna swap it because they're gonna dump the 200 and then pick up the 150. It's stupid, but that's just how it works. And we are gonna need some medicine just in case. So we need to go reclaim that five. And we are leaving to the south. Okay. So we wasted a little bit of time there, but not much. Luckily, I was, you know, paying close attention. So they're going to kind of re... Refigure this out. There they go. And they got their chem fuel. So they've got... 
70 in the tank plus another 150. That's a little over a full tank in total. They'll be fine. That's a very short trip that they're on. Okay, uh, you gotta go. Go, go, go. No time to lose. Yeah, they're heading to the edge of the map. Meanwhile, this stuff is getting hauled good. It looks like they're getting those Tau into the freezer where we should see them start getting butchered. Oh, actually, no, no, never mind. We haven't queued that up yet. But we should see the Eldar meat getting turned into kibble at some point. Uh, did you just, like, pilfer a jacket off of somebody? Okay, caravan's ready. Let's grab them and tell them to move here. Hopefully we don't get intercepted by any traitor guardsmen or anything else. We'll see. Well, at least she's helping out with the harvest and stuff. She's not great at it, but she's she's got a pair of hands. Put her to work. Somebody's got to do it. Uh, unfortunately, I do think her yield is slightly lower because she's not as good, but that's not something that we can do much about. What are you making right now? Oh, good. You're making some more guard, guard armor. Great. Who's going to get the first set? Uh, definitely not Yaris. Probably going to be Jackal or Reyna or Haro. Uh, probably Reyna. Reyna is a badass. Although, Reyna should probably get some Carapace armor, to be honest. And we need a couple sets of Carapace armor, so that might be our next project. We'll let Azrin finish this one first. Uh, be careful with refining too much of that, because I would like to use some of the wood to floor off these bedrooms. And, you know, build furniture out of. So let's not waste it all on chem fuel. Uh, what were our other options for that? From organics. Organics, uh, I guess if we really wanted to, we could start throwing rice in there. That is something we could do. For now, I'm going to suspend that, but that's something to consider. Although I will set this to the same threshold as the other one. That way, if it ever does happen... Or if we ever do like decide to call on it, uh, we won't like overshoot or anything. Does this have like a minimum? No, okay. I don't really care then. So yeah, let's wait on that. We could start turning the hay into it, but the thing is, I didn't want to waste the hay. The animals are eating the hay. That's why I didn't do it before. Because a lot of our animals can eat this. Uh, in place of kibble. We could turn like all this all the hops we're making. Why do we have pontoon bridges? What the hell? Anyway. Got a lot of hops. We could turn the hops into it. We could uh, maybe turn some rice to it. I'm wary about the rice though, because I, as soon as I do that, all of a sudden we have a food shortage and I'm in trouble again. So for now let's just do the wood, but we have to keep an eye on it because I do want this stuff to get built. And I'd like for it to be made out of wood. Although the beds could be steel. They don't need to be wood. But the furniture needs to be... Needs to be wood to be consistent. Alright. Moving on. Uh, Sierra's doing a great job with these... Components. I'm actually kind of impressed. We're doing pretty well on our numbers. Did... That generator ever get built? Nobody's even touched it. What in the hell? Is anybody set to do construction? Garvel, that's like your main job. So I don't know why you're not prioritizing it very much. I'm actually going to lower his doctoring. And Mirage should be building too. What is Mirage doing right now? Oh, you're building those. Right, because we finally got wood. Which, unfortunately, means all of our wood's going to get used up by other things. But I guess that's fine. We do need people to be able to train melee. Although we probably didn't need this many of them. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, how is our caravan doing? They're almost there already. So that's good. How are we on time? Three days left there. Uh, ooh, don't care about that. Four days left there. Cutting it close. Cutting it damn close. 
And we are probably in for a fight when we get there, too. I, I really doubt they're going to let me just pick up a refugee and walk off. We have not been that lucky for a very long time. Uh, let's fill this in, like so. Uh, another thing I need to do, and I should stay on top of this just to be safe, is make sure that I'm roofing off everything. Just to be absolutely sure that we don't have any, like, unwanted ventilation. So far, so good. That seems unnecessary. Uh, that technically is part of the stockpile. Whatever, that works. And did I miss anything? No. Unfortunately, uh, so. our visitors from the Addison League weren't too pleased with us. It wasn't a terrible score, but uh, they just weren't too happy. Obviously, we're not like a a resort. We're not trying to, you know, impress guests, but I was trying to entertain them, and it looks like... I mean, that's not too bad. He wasn't too happy. She wasn't that happy either, but overall... Oh, you weren't happy at all. But, like, overall, they don't seem to be that bad off, so I'm not sure why our score was so low. But again, this isn't a resort, this is a military base. Military fortress, probably more accurate. Uh-oh. Cashin, what's your deal? Well, I can't help you with any of that. Go play some poker or anything. Why are you cleaning hold the hell on? Uh, why? Why any of this? I mean, this, fine, whatever. Although it doesn't really need to be cleaned. That does not need to be part of our home area. This really doesn't, but whatever. Uh, you know what, screw it. That will be our... Well, we'll say this. That way, if anything attacks it, they'll repair it. But really, that does not need to be all the way out there. This is unnecessary... This is unnecessary. Uh, that's definitely unnecessary. And that's probably fine. Although I should go ahead and like clear this. Because really I just want them doing the fence. I don't care about anything around the fence. So like that is totally acceptable. And the same is true for the conduit out here. So yeah, that is totally okay. Uh, we'll clear this as well. Just so much area that doesn't need to be cleaned that we've been wasting time cleaning. There we go, that's a little bit better. But yeah, don't need you cleaning the corpse pile. It's a corpse pile for a reason. Almost there. Hopefully we're not getting ourselves into anything too crazy. Okay. So, our caravan has arrived at its destination. Uh, we've got just a random refugee lying out in the middle of the map. This is clearly an ambush. So, first of all, let's see if you're even worthy of our rescue. Uh, actually, not a terrible character. A bit old, unfortunately. At 63, that could cause us problems. Too smart, which means uh, he'll have some problems getting... Well, actually, no, it's more about mental breaks than getting along. But uh, he will learn faster. He's also attractive. And then, let's see. Very proficient in combat and enjoys it quite a bit. Artistic and passionate about that. Very passionate about construction. Yeah, pretty solid character, to be honest. Uh, so, let's have you move up to, like, here. We're going to go ahead and unload, and we're going to expect gene stealers everywhere. How badly were you hurt, by the way? Death in 21 hours, although... Oh, you have a bad back. We'll have to make him a bionic spine. We already made one for uh, Liara, so that's not really that big a deal. But yeah, that is definitely something we need to remedy. 
So, you clowns, drafted. How do we want to handle this? I think what we're gonna do is have Grace cover from maybe there. Zarena, you're gonna cover from here. Remy's got the Weber, which is fairly short range. I'm gonna move him up. Uh, you guys are gonna be firing over each other though, and I don't like that idea one bit. Uh, let's try this. Zarena, go there so that we're not shooting over anybody. And as we spread out, we'll keep an eye out for anything trying to jump out and grab us. Okay, so far so good. So, Zima, go up next to him. Brag, go to there. And Graith, why don't you come maybe up there as well. You start moving up. Grace, come here. So far, so good. Okay. So, what we need to do now is... Just throw down the sleeping spot. Like right there. And then Remy, I need you to rescue Daniel. While everybody else covers you. Still no gene stealers. Uh, Xenotech Rogue Trader. We might be interested in that. I am very wary about switching away while I run the clock, though. So I'm not going to deal with them just yet. They're not going to leave the area immediately. Okay. We've got the package. Bringing him back. Bringing him back. We'll have... Uh, actually, Remy's capable of treating people. So maybe we'll have him do it. Although it's probably better to have Zima do it because she actually enjoys doing it. Oh, and she's slightly better, too. So she'll actually gain XP faster. You're going to cover from there. I need you to stop the bleeding. Why can't you tend to him? There's like no no reason why you shouldn't be able to tend to him. There we go. Okay. Uh, make sure we're not... Yeah, I was going to say make sure we're not wasting any medicine. That's Zima. I'm pretty sure I clicked on you. There we go. Actually, it would have been worth maybe just poking our heads out for some heal root. I don't see any, so I guess it's irrelevant at this point, but it would have been worth using a little bit of herbal medicine if there was some on the map, just to make sure that cut didn't get infected, but it should be fine. Okay, so he is A-OK -okay now. Hopefully he hops back up pretty soon. He should join us immediately once he does, and then we can get the hell out of here. But until he does, you know, there's really not a lot we can do. I just don't want to waste too much time here. What the hell is all that? Oh, never mind. It looked blue. I was like, oh, is that plasteel? But no. No, it's not. There is a bit of compacted machinery I think we're going to mine out. There is some right there too, but I don't think that's worth our time. We'll just get this little bit here. So, Brag, why don't you go work on that? Or go sleep on the ground. That's something you could do, I guess. But I don't think we're going to be attacked at this point, so... Even though that looked very much like an ambush to me, apparently it was not. And then we still have four days on this. It's going to take us a day to get back, but we are going to lose a little bit of time waiting for him to recover. The thing is, I have to wait because I can't load him into the APC until he is a member of our colony. Otherwise, he will have to walk alongside and it will slow down the caravan considerably, which will probably hurt us more than just sitting here and waiting, as funny as that sounds. So we're going to wait it out. We're going to head back to base after this and drop him off, as well as you know any loot we pick up, which would probably just be these components here. Uh, actually might have them cut down these cacti since they're right here for a little bit of wood and maybe I'll do others if it takes a little bit longer but we're, we're going to harvest what we can from here we're going to bring it all back to base, unload it and then head immediately to that um, Tau prison anyways, I'm going to leave it here for today so thank you guys so much for watching I had a great time playing some RimWorld with you and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode